Hey everybody, this is Paperclip again. Welcome back to John Zhao. This is our Horde Nation, the Cossacks edition, where we just got an alliance from Korshin. We do have a royal marriage with. Tell you what, Korshin. You do have 11,000 troops. So yeah, for now, I will accept your alliance because you're one of... Only two other alliances I have. Ming, that alliance would be great if you would just do it. They don't think I'm strong. Even though we have the same religion thing, they know I'm not the same religion here. Which is interesting. I guess it's like a tolerate kind of thing. Like, I tolerate their faith, so that's why they do it. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, do we still have... In March. Okay. March is fine. You still have it only as three development? Yes, you do. So it's not very useful to me in advancing my technology. How are we in tech? Still level 3 admin. So that's pretty crap. So I'm kind of tempted to release this back to him. Because I really don't want to spend the money on coring it. Or the admin on coring it. Like I'd much rather go up in admin tech right now. I think we're gonna wait. Now I could declare on Mongolia. No, I could not declare Mongolia actually. I could break with the Oriat and declare on Mongolia. Which might not be a bad idea. Let's check out Mongolia's development real quick. So they have six, six, three. Nine, four, three, seven, and four. Well, this one would be good. This one would be good. That one would not. This one would be good. That one would be good. Eh. I really want the admin provinces, so I would really only end up taking. One, two, three, four. I would end up taking those five. That's probably all I would end up taking. And then beyond that, I'd probably just chill for a little bit. Unless the Oriet has some good development out there, too. C6. Nine. Nine. Might try to take some of the Oria as well. Could I beat them? I think I could. We do have a royal marriage with them. We don't have a royal marriage with Mongolia. If I dissolve our alliance and come over here to Mongolia, declare war. I have a truce because we dissolved our alliance for five years. Oh, that is a crap mechanic. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Well, in that case... Crap. So I kinda wanna just give him that back. I'll think about it. I will think about it. I am gonna mothball it now, though. I'm also gonna mothball that one. 
Because I really don't want to be paying for them. How are we doing on troops? Are we fully reinforced? We are. So go ahead and don't fund them. Sucks paying that fort maintenance. I basically have to wait for five years now because I have a truce with them I mean I can attack them the only benefit I could see from attacking them would be maybe revealing more land over here I don't even know if it's gonna actually reveal it though I mean I'd literally be gambling that it's gonna reveal it for me Tell you what, I'll take the gamble. I can't do anything else anyway, so. I really wish he'd develop this province a bit, though. Really help me out a lot, man. Would really help me out a lot. See, none of those help me with technology, so I'm not interested in them. There it is. So we shall do that. Let's see how we are in tech compared to the rest of the Eastern nations. Ming is also 444 as is Korea. Uzbek is 434. Perm is 545. Ottomans are 455. So we're not doing bad. Considering how much we've conquered and how much we've cored, we're doing pretty decent on technology. Core you. Are you a different religion? You are not. Is there anything I could do? I could let war exhaustion go down. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I really don't want to do it right now anyway. Alright, so we have 17. Yeah, how much money does your end have? I could at least do this for money. Oh, that's the wrong screen. And that is the wrong screen. Wrong screen. Total. Da, da, da. Charts. Nope. Which one is it? There we go. Let's go to your Ren. Yeah, see, I could take almost a hundred bucks from your Ren. Hundred ducats, hundred bucks, whatever you want to call it. See, I'm gonna go ahead and fund them. I'm also gonna go ahead and put our king in charge. Are they still our rival or are we just their rival? Now your rent is still our rival. Okay. That's fine. In that case, in the meantime, won't I embargo you? And why don't I. 
I can't bargain while I still have a truce. Still have a truce. Okay, fair enough. There's nobody anywhere around. Is he tech 3 still? He is. He is still tech 3. I'm gonna wait till that boat goes up and then goes out. There we go. No, I'll wait till the end of the month. I want to make sure I have as much morale as I can. Does he have allies? Nope. No allies. Alright, go ahead and declare on him. Now, Corchin, I don't even care if you join. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll be there before the end of the month. So I'm not even worried about anybody stopping us. And there we go. And now we wait. While doing very minimal funding. <laughs> we can tech up militarily. I say we do it. So now, how do we stack? We are ahead of tech. More so than anyone who isn't in India. Yeah, for about a thousand miles or so, we're the most technologically advanced person. That's nice. Gonna give us a good little advantage there. We can get advisors. Can't really afford them though. I would like to get the prestige guy. To be honest, the prestige guy I think is going to be pretty useful. We're losing a lot of troops here every month. Wow. If I fund you more, will it help? Yeah. So I'll do half funding. We'll run a little bit of a deficit. We are suffering 4% attrition. Wow. Alright, it's because there was a winner. I completely forgot about winter attrition. It's still the Arctic and we're still sieging, so we're still going to suffer some attrition. But at 2%, we're only going to lose about 200 people and we're reinforcing more than that. So now it's just a waiting game. And we got a disease outbreak. Well, crap. No more disease outbreaks, damn it. I like how Defender's Desert actually increases the siege status quite a bit now. When before it didn't really do. I don't believe it did plus two before. Which makes sense, because it definitely should do something significant like that. Give me all your money. Yep. I want all your money. I want you to force convert. I want to humiliate you. Can't humiliate you and take your province. Alright, fine. I'll settle for that. Give up your claims here. Revoke your cores on all of these. Because it's just going to give me more prestige. Alright. That'll be fine. That'll bump me up until like 26 prestige. And I make money. Alright, we'll do it.
Yeah, go ahead. And bring those guys back down to there. I was definitely hoping it would give me more than just this coast of... Ooh, a whale! Hey, whale! Anyway, back to the game. I don't want to fund this fort. Why are we funding this fort? I don't want to fund this fort. Why are we funding this fort? Does it auto? F automatically raise maintenance during war. Yep, it auto funds forts during wars. I mean, I do have enough money to fund them. Let's see, if I decide to fund the forts at half maintenance, I don't need a ton more people to fully reinforce. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna bump stability. I wish he would have done something there so I could have at least raised it. But getting rid of arrival is actually pretty useful. The Orient army is 58% weaker than ours. Great. They're now arrival then. You guys will not accept an alliance because you think you're too far. Whatever. Fine. Can I improve with you further? Not really. How about you guys? Might as well improve relations with you guys. Ming. You're still not really interested. Alright. Well now that we have them like that. They're friendly towards us. We view them as a rival. Great. We're going to embargo them. We can't. We have a truce. Ah. We can't embargo like any of our rivals because we have truces. Confucian elites alienated. Lose tax. Gain manpower. Gain tax. Lose morale. Yeah, I'd rather have the manpower. Because I just made 100 ducats. 110 ducats, so. I think I'll be alright for a little bit. What's going to be better? Getting tax? Or getting more of this? Well, unless that can increase it by a lot. I'm going to go ahead and say probably the tax. Because I can go here and get 1.16 extra tax every month. Or 0.16. I wish it was 1.16. 0.16 tax every month. Or I could do this. On well, extra 5.8 trade power. Extra 5.8. gonna give me more trade power but I don't think it's gonna bump me up that high I think I think the admin I mean the uh, the tax is gonna be better at least in Hunkun I want to do that so we're fully reinforced so don't fund the army we are barely making any money. That sucks. But we're not running a deficit. And we have 19,000 troops. So, can't complain too much. Because the only people right now who can really threat us are Ming. Threaten us. Can you want ace tax and Yihi? Let's find Yihi. Or, for Dan, changes religion to Confucian. Growing religious community. Or, for Dan. For Dan, has five base tax. Yeah, he has two base tax. Well. It's going to change to Confucian. So I think 
since Confucian is still technically part of my religion, I would still get full benefit out of it. Let's see. Are these Confucian? Yep. Do I get any penalties? Nope. Okay. So I would still get that. I get an extra 15% tax. I lose missionary power. And this is for 20 years. Well, 15% of 0.18, that's not a whole lot. I mean, if it was 10%, it would literally be... Yeah, you're literally talking 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ducats. But here, I have a lot of autonomy, though. But that's going to be a permanent change. I don't have to worry about Confucianism. Just get the base tax. I mean, it's going to be about 0.2 either way. But this one, in the long run, that'll be way more than 0.2. It'll be like 0 0.8. 0 0.08. I, I keep forgetting about the 100th place and just going to the 10th. Form alliance with Ming. Believe me, game, I would love to do that. I would love to be Ming's only ally. But they won't have it. They are not interested in it at all. Oriad's country of interest. So is Ming. So are you guys. Good. Chagatai, I think, is also a country of interest. I don't remember if I set him. I did not. I am interested in that. And Uzbek as well. Because Uzbek doesn't like them either. They're already a country of interest. Perfect. Ah, uh, you son of a bitch. Alright. That sucks. I hate that event so much. You saw a comment. New stability. It's like, why? Why? Like, I know comments were supposed to be like omens back then, but like, Jesus, I don't think everybody like, thought the entire country was going to go to an end because of it. So now I have cavalry cost minus 20%. So this is actually stronger than it was before. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Because, yeah, if I want to go build a cavalry now, it will cost me 0.38 each month. And it's going to cost me 20.4 right off the bat. So we basically just have to wait for one of our truces to expire. We don't really have much of a choice right now. Our truce is until the 70. Our truce is until 67. We don't have a truce, but you're my ally. We have a royal marriage. And you also do have 11,000 troops. So I kind of want to use your 11,000 troops. That'll basically be a 30,000 troop army. We have Mongolia. Somehow Oriet took Mongolian lands. I don't know how they managed to do that. Uzbek has declared war on Chagatai, so they're going to start losing their war. Oh, we still have a lot of time till we can do anything. Just core that one. It's going to be extra money for us in the long run. It sucks having to spend that much admin on it. But, because I would really like to get an idea. Because if I could get exploration ideas, like, pretty early, I think that'd be pretty useful. Alright, see, now, now we actually have some, some vision. We still don't know about mainland Japan. We still know, we know there's an island there, but we have no knowledge of anything on the island. 
which is still kind of unfortunate because that means we can't really invade them if we don't know about them which I would love to invade Japan provinces right now I think it would be very beneficial towards us but the game won't have it sport independence from from Mongolia I'm going to say no because I plan on taking your lands I want these these five I want for myself I was gonna be your friend but now all these truces it's just it's just being a burden I'd rather I'm gonna do speed four actually just try and make this go by a little bit quicker because I want to take more stuff and right now I can't take anything from anybody at least I mean my main power can recover that is a good thing I'm gonna gain about 20 2400 almost 2500 every single year so that'll put me at almost 10,000 manpower I can almost do a diplo tech should be nice this thing is nuts I only have 31% here like who are like like I think it's weird all these people can do all that in there and I have no knowledge of them I just really want time to go by so I can declare war on Mongolia and the Oriat Oirat I'm gonna move you guys up to Hulunbur I could get the free yearly prestige guy. It'd help keep my prestige where it's at. Or I could get the morale of armies guy. Hmm. I think the morale of armies guy might be pretty useful in the near future. Take the money, you stupid event. Lose admin or lose all the money you basically have. That I've built up for like two freaking years. That was gonna be the money I used to go to war against Mongolia and the Uriet. Now I don't have that money. So now, I'm thinking I gotta mothball these so I can try and actually gain that money back because I got one year to come up with like at least 25 ducats so that way I can support this war lose more horde unity every single year or gain conflicting ideals Should 
I L Where's Julin? Is it a region? Is still in a region? Jilin's a region. Gain a ton of arrest in Jilin. I lose a lot of money from Jilin. Or I lose Horde Unity. I guess I gotta lose Horde Unity because I need the money to actually fund this war. So now I lose way more Horde Unity every year than I'd really like to. What is this tool? March 1467 You sure you don't want to have an alliance? So you want some stuff from the oil rat man I think you would benefit from an alliance Although I think he has a truce with the Oirat. Yeah, he does. It's not going to be a big deal. Korchun, how do you feel? I've gained five favor. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to take me forever to get over there anyway. So Korchin will help me. Because they do have strategic interest in Mongolia. I think I'll have enough to fund this war without having to take out a loan, hopefully. Because when I fully fund my troops, I'm pretty sure I run a pretty decent deficit. Yeah. Minus 1.1 is a deficit. Plus the 1 for turning the forts on. So I'm going to be doing a 2.1. Right? Yeah, 2.1 deficit every single month. There goes our tr truce with the Oirat. We go ahead and say we want these and that. Do we want this one? Not really. Maybe we'll take it in a future war, but I mean, I really don't want to take it right now. Kind of rather just humiliate them, get a bunch of power projection, get the extra point every month, and everything, gain the extra leader.
that fires off, I'm just extremely unlucky. Let me go ahead and improve with them. Get the Diplo rep. We're gonna go ahead and declare on them. We're gonna call Corchin in. And we're gonna make this over. Setson. Yep, go ahead. Start it off. Now this is all steps. So I really don't want to fight him in his own steps. Because it's going to be pretty brutal for me. That's steps too. This one's desert, so I'm not too worried about the desert. What's our armies look like? The core chain really. Ah, see, that's not good. That's really not too good. I could have sworn I said, call him in. I'm going to have to play this smart then. I mean, I do have the tech advantage, so there is always that, but... Oh my god, these events, man. Why don't I ever get any good event? Like an event that's like, hey, here's some free stability or anything like that. It's always, hey, that money that you saved up for this war? It's gone. It's gone now. Just gone. Oh, scandal. Bribe someone to take the blame. Or lose stability. I can't afford... Just take the money. I can't take another stability hit. It's going to cause a lot of revolts and stuff in my nation. And now we have a freaking loan. And I can't get out of here in time. But I can put a really good general in charge. Can at least send that guy there is back up um okay yeah that's fine that's completely fine too definitely thought it said that I was guaranteed to have a battle there but sure I'm not gonna really be one to complain about that Where's he going? He's going down there. See ya. I'm fine with doing this actually.
I mean, so far I'm doing pretty well, considering they have way more troops than I do. Can I be there before him? Nope. Oh yeah, I'm still doing speed 4, don't do speed 4. I'd like to stay around his capital, because if I can siege his capital, it's definitely going to help. I'd rather not tech up in Diplo quite yet. First of December, sixteenth of November. So I'm definitely going to be there before him. So yeah, I'm fine with that because I'll be defending in the mountains, and I'll have my four-three guy. Yeah, that'll be fine. He changed his mind. Of course he did. You don't want to fight me in the mountains with my tech advantage on you and my superior skills, my awesomeness. Let's send one extra guy. Just oop. Is he locked? He is not locked. What if I split and send one guy over here? He's still gonna do it. It's in his own steps though. Nope. I'm just gonna take one guy. And go head up to Altai. Let's see, if I want those... And then I want that. And that. It's gonna cost me 63. They're gonna try and go up to there. I'm willing to go up there. Cause I'm pretty sure we can beat them. 5th of February. 13th of February. Yep. Let's make sure he doesn't flip his idea. Yep, he changed his mind. Bam. There's that. So he's not quite willing to do this now. I can be there 26th. He'll be there on the 24th. Huh. Well, I can do this. And go right on over to here. And just sit all my forces right in 
the Mongolian capital. But I think he's going to beat me. See, this is going to be his his steps. I'd rather not be in his steps, fighting all that. So, what could I get? What if I didn't take that? You're still not happy. What if I don't take that? Still, no. Huh. If I don't take the three development. You're still not feeling it. He's going to be there on the 10th of May. I think I'll have this siege done before the 10th of May. Oh yeah, most definitely. Nineteen days left. Ah, 10th of May will happen before that. Do I have enough to take these now? Nope. Hmm. Oh, he stopped. Even better. He stopped and I'm not really worried about it. He will legitimately only give me those two provinces right now, as it stands. That is crap. That is such crap. be there on the 9th, he'll be there on the 4th, and let's just go up here instead. Do 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 He's still oh yeah he just got a lot of progress all in one single tick. Of course he did. Come on, man. I'm not asking for a ton of stuff. I feel like I'm being fairly reasonable with my demands here. 
and you're just completely refusing to work with me. Like, if you refuse to work with me, then yeah, I'm gonna loot the crap out of everything. I mean, that's how that works. I don't want, like, an unrealistic amount of stuff. Sixteenth, twenty-sixth. Whatever, just go here then. Sixteenth, fourteenth. There we go. I'm telling you, dude, I'm not being unrealistic with what I want. I mean, to be honest, I think I could take him. Because it's 2 1. We have a tech advantage. Yeah, it's in the mountains. Yeah, I'm going to lose manpower and all that. But I think it's going to be worth fighting the battle. Because it's going to be enough to push him. I think to accept what I want. Almost. I really could not be much closer. Maybe after this occupation. Maybe now. Now he'll accept it. He'll actually almost accept that. Do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk him getting that siege back again? I don't think I do. But I don't want to take a little bit of money from you. See, Korchin should have been in that war with me. I think what I did is I clicked the thing like, Hey, I'll give you favors, and I forgot to click call into war. So I kind of screwed that up, but it worked out well. Oh my god, this has been a 53 minute episode. I am cutting it here. I'm going to let you guys see. Alright, there we go. And that's where I end this. I am so sorry guys. I meant to keep these like 30 minutes and I just went 20 freaking 3 minutes over. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye bye